Hello guys, um, from this brief tutorial, we're gonna go over some simple steps that hopefully helps you when trying to import your grades from Google Classroom straight into Aries. Um, I'm gonna go over two different ways to do so, um, depending on your personal preference um, and how your Google Classroom is actually set up. Um, so really the first thing I tend to do when grading is I'll usually scroll down either my stream or through classwork and I'll see you know how many turned something in uh, versus assigned versus graded. So you know, I can scroll down right here and I can see, you know, all right, 10 students have turned in this assignment and it's now time for me to grade it. Um, now, you can always grade via the assignment itself. I'm going to pull up the student's work, which I'm kind of doing here, um, and, and check their work individually. Um, but let's just say that I gave this student, um, say, full credit, the full four points. And I'm just going to randomly just kind of give some kids some points um, as if I actually looked at it and graded it and whatnot. So then I would hit this little return button right here. So these students would be getting their, their grades given to them um, via the uh, Google Classroom. But we want to get that into Aries, so we'll update in Aries. So then I'll go back to my grade book. And I will, the way, I, the first way to do it is I would like to create an assignment. So I'm going to add an assignment and I'm going to call this the assignment, which it was. It was number one for me, essential question one. Of course, you've set up your categories, um, you know, the way you set it up before, the due dates, as you set it up before, the number of points possible, as you did before. So now I've created the assignment the way, um, we used to back in the day and uh you know you'd have to go in there and individually add the points values for each student um, but instead of doing it that way um, there's a very easy way to import the grades from google um, right into aries so i'm going to go to the individual assignment which in this case was number one essential question one and you have this show more tab um, and the simplest way to do it is you would hit the import from google tab choose the google classroom where that assignment is located it does take a little while it is rather slow um, but then you want to sync it to um, choose the assignment that that matches it. and this is where you want to be a little bit careful that it is the assignment you want to match it to so in this case it was my unit one essential question i'll hit confirm and the, the request does take a little bit of time it, it does drag a little bit um, so you will have to be a little bit patient while you're waiting for this to take place. Cue the uh, Jeopardy theme song real quick. Or there we go. So you can see that these eight scores were imported. Um, these error messages are usually because these are non-scoring kids, which Crossing my fingers, uh, they do start to turn this in before the due date of Friday. Um, but I would hit OK, and I can see that those scores are now now imported in from from Aries or from Google, I should say. <clears throat> the uh, second way I'm not really a fan of because um, these are if your assignments are all individualized and one you know one by one by one. Um, you won't have to add the assignment via the um, add assignment tab like you used to. It will just import everything from your Google Classroom. So if you go to your dashboard where your current classes and terms are, uh, all you have to do is just hit import assignments from Google. Now, I'm not going to do this for my purposes because I'm not a big fan of um, how this works and comparing it to how I have my Google Classroom set up. But for some of you that kind of want a little bit more seamless, you would just hit import and every assignment in your Google Classroom will be imported. Um, now the, the key of this is you do have to hit the import button um, every time you want to update grades. It's not something that's going to automatically be done, um, at least in, in my experiences. Hopefully that's something that changes. So once again, any questions or concerns, go ahead and leave a comment below, um, and I'll hopefully address that as soon as possible. Thank you.